Oh God, it's coming. Jump down. No. <laughs> This is the longest fall ever, guys. What's up, people? It's Repug and I'm back again, smashing the start button, another adventure. And guys, we are back on Pug Doros. And as you guys can see, it's getting a bit crowded in here. You know, this was a temporary little base, you know, just to get kind of like a a, a safe place to, to store stuff. But you guys, we're going to have to go out and find someplace new. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and take our feather light out. And we're going to fly around, try to find a spot to actually, you know, build at. Um, to get a little bit more breathing room because, you know, it... it it's a lot of dinosaurs in a small little house. And, man, he is pooping gasoline like there's no tomorrow. So, yeah, guys, we are going to go out on a little adventure, try to find some place a little bit better to live and hopefully a little bit safer. Uh, maybe tame something along the way. So stick with me, guys. I'm going to get everything packed up, good to go, and then we are going to head out. All right, guys, so first steps first. We are we're airborne, which is a good thing. But we're going to go find some crystal, too. It's been so long since I've been on the center map. I'm trying to remember exactly where crystal is. I know, of course, it's in the snow biome. I do you believe there's some in the redwoods, too? We might fly over there and check it out. But man, there is all sorts of crazy stuff. And, yeah, I, I don't think we're going to go ahead and settle for this island. As you guys can see, there is just a ton of stuff. It spawns over here, and this is usually, um, when you're playing vanilla, the safest place to spawn, and not so much now. I mean, you guys, there is just mayhem constantly on this island at this point. So, all right, guys, I am going to go track down some crystals so we can get an awesome spyglass going and try that out for the first time. It's a new mod. Um, haven't used it before, but we are definitely going to give it a try. Crisco was saying that it works a lot better than super spyglass so we are gonna definitely make that so that way we can see what we're looking at from a distance before we get too close oh man look at that zombie down there dude oh man it's too soon it's too soon we can't we can't get that yet we're gonna have to get some better stuff before we can go after that bad boy i've tamed one of those before they are a beast to get so, all right, guys, I'm going to go track down some crystal, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we are over on Skull Island, and we have crystals, ladies and gentlemen. I remembered as I flew by, it's like, no way is it going to... I remember there's stuff in here that's really important. So we are going to go ahead and get all this tasty crystal, and we are going to get some metal going, so that way we can head out and tame something good and find a good location and get a good start, guys, going on a good base. I know, I think overall I want to build in one of the bubbles. I do believe those are still a thing on the center map, and so that is definitely something we are going to look for. So, alright guys, let's go ahead and come in here and go awesome. There it is. Bam! We are crafting it right now, and we will have it here in one second. There we go. Boom! Awesome spyglass made. Well, let's go ahead and try it out. Now, see... Unlike Super Spy Glass, this should not show up in the middle of our screen. And bam, when we zoom in, is it going to work? Oh, look at that. Bottom left does not cover our entire screen. And we are not seeing our own mount for once. Ooh, look at that guy. That is a really cool looking feather light. Man, I have a feeling, though, that's going to be super scary. Not, No, that's not what we want to see. This is not a unicorn. That is not a raptor. What is that? Flaming feather light. It says it's a KO tame. Hmm. We might have to try to get that, guys. Man, but let's put that away. That's actually a little distracting. Okay, it's not going away now. Go away. Thank you. Sorry, guys. I'm going to keep looking, and I'll bring you guys back. We're going to find something super special for... Oh, look at that unicorn. That is a wicked equ... Oh, that's a wicked equus. That's not a unicorn. Can we zoom in? Can, can we zoom in, Spyglass? You're going to let me zoom in, Spyglass? 
Okay, no, you're not gonna let me. Man. It's already got Torpor on it, but it's a 580, guys. That is a really pink you or Equus right there. But, all right, guys, I'm gonna keep looking. I'll bring you guys back. We might come back for that. I'm gonna go ahead and make a mental note of where that was, and we'll see what else we can find as we look for a good place to build. Hey guys, check it out. I think I found where we're gonna build, and look at this view. It is amazing. So you guys, we're over in the redwood biome. Um, the ground is pretty flat. Oh, I did not notice there is a wyvern. Um, why isn't it pulling out my spyglass? Spyglass, come on! Why? It's being weird. I gotta get. Oh God, it's coming! Jump saddle! No. This is the longest fall ever, guys. If I actually land in water and don't actually disappear, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble because I don't know how we're going to get back up. I'm going to hit the rocks right here. Oh, this is going to hurt, guys. This is going to hurt. All right, guys. So that was a horrible mishap. Um, we are going to borrow Germ's Featherlight and we are going to go try to get ours back. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know where we were. But... We, we did lose the moss chops. There's no way to recover him. He's down in oblivion now. So, all right, guys. Let me get all my stuff back together. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get everything we need together or take over there to build a house and a base. So, I'll be right back. And we're dead again. Rip. All right, so uh, mishaps have happened. Um, now we have to rescue German's Featherlight 2 before hopefully it dies and then he yells at me. So, all right, guys, uh, it's not working. Oh, there it goes. All right, we got our stuff back. Oh, I'm overweight. Let me put my helmet on. Ooh, there we go. All right, so um, now we got a table flyer to go get our flyers back and um, deal with that thing that's there. So, all right, guys, let me go locate something that we can tame and hopefully get back over there. All right, guys, so we're um, in a bit of a pickle. I'm just trying to find anything now that has wings and can fly, because, yeah, uh, there's usually pterodons and feather lights and a whole bunch of other stuff flying. Oh, there's a pterodon there. What? Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter the level. We just need it. Oh, my gosh. The Thing. Okay, so that's a 200 legendary, but it's not coming down. It's going to be super hard to knock out since it's not coming down. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that right there? Oh, that is a parasaur. I swear it looked like it had wings. Okay, there's something with wings right there. What is that? That is an oil jug bug. What is that behind the oil jug bug flying around? What are you? A wisp? No. Oh my gosh, Spyglass, pick up the thing that I... Right there. What are you? Flaming Feather Light. You know what? Why not? Let's let's try to get this. We got we got some arrows. Let's... It says it's a knockout team. Okay, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss again. And then there's a unicorn in front of me. All right, hit it. It's running. It's running really, really fast. And it's over the water. Jeez. Like, I didn't see that coming. Oh, oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. What? The arrow passed right through it? Oh, my gosh. Sit still. Feather light. Come this way. Come this. Ooh, come this way. Oh, my gosh. How much torpor did I even do to it? That is a good question. Oh my gosh, it lost all of its torpor already. All right, let's try again. Okay, um, hitbox weird. It did not get any torpor. Okay, so that's obviously got to use something from Pardos to tame that. So we are going to skip on that. I'm going to keep looking, guys, and try to find something else. All right, guys, so here's a level 200. Where are these keep coming from? Go away. Here's a level 200. Uh, bola. Let's see if we can bola it. 
It's a legendary. Okay, I'm gonna miss. And I got it that time. Doesn't seem like it's flying away. Headshots, let's do this. Headshot. 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 Go to sleep. Really need you to go to sleep, buddy. At least we're not doing enough to like hurt its health. Oh my gosh, this thing has got some major torpor. We're just gonna have to keep we're gonna sink all our arrows into it. Oh, it's flying away. We gotta follow it. Hopefully nothing decides to go ahead and stomp right now. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's it. Man, we did all those arrows and it only did that much torpor. I don't know if we're gonna have enough arrows. Okay, it's coming back down. It's coming back down. We'll get ready to bullet it again. Bullet. Got it again. Wait, it's passive tape? Oh, wait, no, that's hold the remove bullet. Okay, bullet. All right, shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. We're gonna keep at this, guys. We are gonna get this guy if it's the last thing we do. Come on. Shoot. All right, we got him again. Oh, he's running again. He's running again. Okay, get the bullet out. We'll follow him until he comes back down. All right, guys, it looked like he's coming back towards... No, he turned around. Dang it. He's trolling us. He keeps acting like... He flew over the ocean, and now he, every... he keeps like acting like he's going to come back, and then he turns around. Let's let's see. It looks like he might be. It looks like he might. No. All right, we're gonna go look for something else to go fly over there with. Okay, we're gonna go for this guy. He's level 80. He's got a lot less torpor. Can we bullet him? He appears to be bullet. All right, let's do this. One, two. We'll see if we can get him. We just need anything to fly, and everything keeps going back over the water. Can we get it over 40,000 Torpor in time? That is the question. These arrows are doing a good job. We might be able to get this guy. We might be able to. Come on. Oh, come on, please. Don't fly away yet. Or no! No, 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 no. We're so close. It is over the water flying away. I hate you. I hate you right now. <laughs> Alright guys, All right. so I've been following that feather light. It's just over here. I swam across. The, so we're like in no man's land now. He's right there. He's right there. Okay, uh, Bola. Is he over the water? He's over the water. You know what? I think we're going to have to risk it. Hopefully... We have some Torpor potions that we got from something dying around us. Oh my. Okay, we can't hit it with the bullet. All right, uh, can we just dart it? We got it. Oh. Yep, he's in the water for sure. Okay, uh, excess inventory, prime meat, and then um, what was it? This thing? Let's try it. It dropped his food down. He's eating. Oh, and there he goes. Man, that makes him tame really fast. RP, you guys, we got a flaming feather light. All right, All right. guys, so we got our flaming feather light. Everything is better now. He's got a lot of health, 43,000 health off the bat, and then a melee of 258, a movement speed of 100. I kind of want to make the movement speed faster so that we would get over there faster, but we are going to head over there, guys, and we are going to try and get our other guys back and hopefully not die in the process so all right guys let's go ahead and get on them and let's head over there all right so we're back and we're gonna try to fight this thing on our new feather light i don't it's so far it's not going well we can't oh that lightning hurts we can't get hit by it okay we got him once we do a lot of damage on this guy this thing is insane strong this feather light oh 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 Oh, it missed. We got it again. I think it's bloody. Yeah, we're winning. We are winning. Ooh. This is insane combat. Oh! That electricity. Oh, we got him. 
we got some sort of helmet too that's cool I love getting special helmets okay our guys should be right here okay bulldog feather lights all accounted for who guys let's get mr. bulldog up all right so the plan is to build here I don't know if that's a good idea but that's what we're gonna do so let me get the crafting and try to get some walls and stuff down and then we will uh, be back in a bit once we get all this stuff set up guys all right guys so uh, fun factoid there's Reapers here that is really big what the heck is that that's not a normal Reaper okay one's off the cliff that's just a Reaper spawn what the heck is the big one Reaper Queen man that's a Reaper Queen Jeez, she is huge okay and there's a giant lightning Rex man oh man I'm starting to get second thoughts about it so one cool thing I did find out guys this flaming uh, guy right here check it out BAM wood and thatch oh, lots of thatch but ooh, ooh, zombie can we take him I think we can take him yeah we can take him Get wrecked. There we go. We got him. Okay. Over here. Uh, did we harvest him? Did we get the brains? Yeah, we got the brains. Cool. So that means we could tame our own zombie at one point. Or at some point, not one point. All right, guys. So, so we got our walls out. Oh, my gosh. This spyglass. I keep forgetting it's on. We at least got a barrier between us and what is beyond. So you guys, all right, we got our guys back. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bed down and uh, fly these two back, well, this one back home. I wanna get Germans back home before anything bad happens. We'll go ahead and leave our bulldog here. And yeah, guys, and uh, we'll, we're gonna try to maybe look for a dodic on the way back. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I know it's not like a crazy team, but we're definitely gonna need a lot of stone and we're gonna need the help to do it because yeah, doing it by hand is, just lousy so, all right guys all right. so we got germans uh <laughs> feather light back to base but something unfortunately happened again it's it's pretty horrible um when i was flying back home uh the server decided to crash uh there was an outage at the server host company and yeah i died while when the server booted back up so i have to find another flyer to get us back to where we were um just a bit ago over at our other place so i'm gonna look around guys and try to find a quick flyer to get because i don't want to do the nasty have or the nasty you know circle of take german flyer go over there bring german flyer back take german flyer over there bring german flyer back so yeah i'm gonna look for something guys and we're gonna get another team going you guys talk about luck d -Mac just flew over on something and was just knocking stuff out all over the beach and check it out this is sitting here knocked out uh, you, you know guys after today's stuff i'm not gonna lie this this is gonna happen check it out 560 legendary pterodon in the bag thank you dmac that is pretty awesome man that he's just flying around knocking stuff out we got something out of it i don't even think he knows that this is down here but if he does Thank you again, d -Mac, for knocking it out and leaving it alive. Dude, whatever he's flying around on, guys, he is just wrecking face. It is insane. But, oh my gosh, this guy's super fast. Let's let's make a saddle and let's get home. Are right, you guys, we got the saddle. This thing tamed out to 840 and check it out. How much health is that? Is that, if I see it that right, 729,000 base health and then a melee of nine. Oh my god, 98, or no, 9,000, no, yeah, 9,898, and a stamina of 2,362. This thing looks insane. So let's try it out. I want to see, was this, okay, nope, that's not what DMAC was doing to knock things out, because that just, like, pretty much just, ooh. let's see. Okay, so I bumped that guy, god, he hits for a lot. Oh yeah, look at that Torpor, it's going up. Oh, and it's knocked out. Dude, oh my gosh. That thing's, it's, 
this thing's insane. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and throw some berries on this trike, guys. And we are going to um, let it tame. Because that's a level 540 trike. That was pretty random. Legendary trike at that. So let me go ahead and throw some berries on it, guys. Because this, this is just nuts. Let's do that and that and boom. We're going to let it tame out, guys. And I'll bring you guys back when it gets a bit closer. All right, guys. It's about to tame out. And see any second now. There we go, guys. Legendary Trike 2. Man, this has been an epic day. Epic day starting from tragedy into epicness. I mean, look at it. Now we have a legendary Trike. We have a legendary Pterodon. And we have a Fire Feather Light. So let's go ahead and do that. Bam, bam, bam. Pick up and let's get home. Man, we got a bit of a flight. All right, guys. So we're going to head over there. Get back to our little walled area where it should be safe. I'm hoping everything's still alive over there. And from there, we are going to name our, our we're going to name our creatures from last episode. And I apologize, guys, for the delay in comment or in answering comments. But it has just been, I, I was just busy all weekend, guys, all weekend. Um, I, I pretty much jumped on, recorded the episode, and then took off for the rest of the weekend. So I apologize, guys, but I am back, and I will be getting back to answering all your comments. But let's get home first. You guys, check out that is insane. It is a Bardos freaking Dodo Rex. Let's get out of here before it does something. Oh, there's our... Okay, cool. I was been looking for him. There's our guy. Okay, so um, we're going to get him to follow us. Let me put the spike glass away. And let's get this guy right here. All right. We're still headed back home. But, man, okay. So now I'm kind of having second thoughts about building here. Because, yeah, that, that thing looks scary. All right, guys. So we're back at camp. I know it's humble beginnings, but a legendary adventure awaits just beyond that wall, along with some terrifying stuff, as you can tell from that stomping. But you guys, we got our fire, or what is it? It's a fire feather light today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fire feather light. Dude, this thing looks so cool. And then we got our legendary trike 808. And then we got our legendary pterodon. You guys think D-Mac? I don't know if he did it on purpose or if he was just flying around knocking stuff out with his. But we got one because he knocked it out and it fell right in front of us. And then you guys, we got for our prodigious featherlight Sheen. And you guys, overwhelmingly upvoted name Doug the Bulldog. All right, that's right, guys, Doug the Bulldog. So you guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I know it has been a bit of a crazy episode, a bunch of mishaps, but we got stuff done in the end. And that is the cool thing that, you know, think it, just, it all came together in the end. And that's what's important, people. So you guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the episode enough to hit that thumbs up button and share it with all your friends and welcome all you new subscribers to the Pug Pack. And as always, guys, check out everybody in the description below for all the Alpha Tribe guys. You got that German guy, King Daddy D-Mac, a froggy man, and me, Repug, hitting the pause button on this adventure. Till next time, guys. See ya. Back, back, back from the dead. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,